Okay. And who did Stanton use steroids? I know he used growth hormone, yes. Okay. Did you tell the Mitchell report that? I believe so, yes. Okay. The Rue Mitchell report talks about the party at Jose Conseco's house uh, on or about uh, June 8th through 10th, 1998. Uh, this was toward the end of the road trip. It included a Marlin series after the Blue Jays returned home to Toronto. Uh, it, it, uh, uh, this is allegedly... Uh, Mr. Clemens then approached you and for the first time brought up the subject of steroid. I think that was your testimony. I want to ask some questions about that. Because the Conseco barbecue is a key event in 1998 where your testimonies differ significantly. You described the barbecue as potentially the time and place where Roger Clemens comes into possession of anabolic steroids. You told specifically remembers Clemens not being on the team bus that traveled to the barbecue and does not remember Clemens being there. Mr. Conseco's wife at the time, the then Jessica Conseco, now Jessica Fisher, has supplied an affidavit to the committee that she does not remember Clemens being there. An audio from the television broadcast of two different games during the three-game series has the announcers talking about the barbecue and how Roger Clemens did not attend. And Mr. Clemens has produced a golf receipt showing that he played golf that day. Now, how do you explain you're the only person that remembers him that day, and is that a critical juncture? I don't think it's that critical um, in regards to Mr. Clemens' steroid use, but I guess as far as asking me is it critical in my recollection, I, I have two distinct um, memories of that party, and one of them is as I was eating a sandwich next to Mr. Uh, Canseco's pool, by myself, I noticed a young child running towards the pool. And as I looked up, there was a woman chasing after the young child, and she was wearing a peach bikini with green in it with board shorts. She was a thin, probably mid to late 30s woman, and uh, she grabbed the kid, the child, who was about two years old at the time, if not younger. And I later found out from one of the ball players, I said, who's that? And they said, it's Roger's nanny. And I had turned around to see Roger and Debbie Clemens talking in the middle, and then they went inside the house. I, I did believe I said hello to Roger, and I know Roger showed up a little bit later. And I also have... Um, How do you know he showed up later? Because you saw him later? I, I saw him there at the house of Jose Consecos, and I believe um, we've had numerous conversations about how great that party would have been if it, if it wasn't for the fact that we had a game that night and all we had was sandwiches and iced tea because Jose had a really nice house. Mr. Clemens, your golf receipt that day is time stamped 8.58. Uh, do you recall what time you teed off? Well, the time I would get out of the pro shop and, and uh, get ready to tee off, it would have been a good 30, 40 minutes probably. Um, the, the time was 8, uh, again, I'm sorry? 8.58, so it would have been after 9 that you would have teed off. Yeah. How long does it generally take you to play around? It'd be four. Every bit of four hours, four and a half, depending on How far is the golf course uh, from Mr. Conseco's house? Any idea? I, I don't. I wouldn't think it was um, 20 minutes at, at best. Um, did you eat lunch after your round of golf that day? Do you remember? I don't remember. You pitched seven innings the night before. What would have been your pattern in practice on the day after pitching? What time did you ordinarily show up to the ballpark the day after you started? Uh, the day after is, um, uh, well, obviously the day after I enjoy playing golf. I usually enjoy playing golf the day before I pitch and the day after when I can. Um, uh, I like the, uh, you know, obviously getting outdoors anytime I can, uh, especially when we're on the road. I do not like uh, hanging in the hotel room. The night, the night before the barbecue, the Blue Jays lost four to three in 17 innings. Does that ring a, a bell? Does that? It does. Uh, and and I, you said earlier I threw that game, so obviously there was a no decision uh, involved. I would imagine. Were your wife and children in Miami for this series? Yes. Okay. You think you might have gone on uh, the, the, uh, on the barbecue after golf? Um, I, I don't remember a, uh, his his party. Um, Okay. Is it possible your wife and some of your kids could have gone without you? I believe my wife, Debbie, was in my golf foursome, and um, the kids sure could have been. Okay. I, I don't remember that they were... But you don't remember being there at all? I don't. 
Okay. The reason I ask that is because it was uh, this was uh, brought up, and this was the beginning, I think, of uh, as I look at the testimony of, the, of your starting to ask about these questions right at that time, right uh, thereafter. Um, we've also spoken to a number of medical professionals inside and outside of baseball. This is about the vitamin vitamin B12 shots, and I know a lot of players seem to take it. We had a hearing on this uh, yesterday. Um, they. Most of them say B12 is not beneficial unless you have a dire medical need for it, like if you had anemia. What's your experience been through injecting B12? I was encouraged to take B12 all the way back since 1988. My mother uh, encouraged me to take B12. Um, uh, I, I think it's beneficial. I, I take vitamins uh, every other day. Uh, I take uh, B12 in the tablet form. I take vitamin E, I take a multivitamin, uh, again, just about uh, every other day. And um, I think it was most common if anybody was sick on the team or if your energy felt run down and so on and so forth. Uh, I don't know the technical benefits for it, but uh, I've always um, assumed that it was, it was, a, it was a good, good thing to have. Did you inject yourself with B12 or did Mr. Bakme ever inject you or do you remember? I've never injected myself. Uh, Mr. McNamee's given me three shots of, uh, when we're in Toronto, three shots of B12, uh, two in New York. Okay. Mr. McNamee, is that, do you concur with that? Uh, the first time I heard of Roger taking B12 was on 60 Minutes. I've never given Roger Clemens B12. I've never heard of B12 really before. My time up. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Uh, Chair recognizes 